Yeah. Right now. Yep. No, no. We're live, buddy. <laughs> oh, well, welcome back. Uh, this is Pop Culture Week in Review. We're just so excited uh, that we don't know when we're actually starting, but it's now. Uh, Josh is standing oh, yeah. up for some reason. It's been a pretty crazy day. Uh, if you're not aware with uh, what's been going on, E Triple C launched today uh, in Mook City Comic Con. We had some exclusive pop vinyls, uh, and I'm sure you are aware, or most of you are aware. What was released, but if you weren't, we're gonna go through that. We've got heaps of other stuff. We've got statues, uh, records, lounge flight, action figures, heaps of fun stuff. Um, I'm not sure whether Josh will be standing up there for the whole duration. Not the whole duration, just no. before kick off. Oh, I know. We're all super exhausted. It's been a busy day. Hasn't yep, it's been, it has been a real busy day. That's all right. We'll we'll get through because it's Friday. Oh. And in case you didn't notice, Andy's not here. I didn't yes. notice that, Josh. Uh, onwards and upwards, I say. We've got someone on the roof, cleaning a roof, so if you hear little noises, no, they're not gremlins or anything funny and weird. It's a guy out there. But anyway, we're giving away some prizes. We're giving away, uh, for those who missed out this morning, uh, we're going to be giving away a Billy and Tommy Halloween 2-pack from WandaVision. Pretty sweet. Do you approve of that one, Josh? Uh, I double approve because it's a 2 pack. So. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Well, uh, these next ones are going to be pretty cool. So that's for one winner. Three prizes today. The second prize is a multi kind of prize. It's going to be the two Masters of the Universe vinyl sodas. Uh, so Man at Arms, Arms and Cobra Khan. So that's another prize. And then the other prize is Matthew Patel and Todd Ingram. So two vinyl sodas. Two two packs, now three two packs, three prizes. Three prizes. Uh, Josh, what do you need to do to win? You need to watch the video as a start, jump on. Secondly, you gotta comment, you gotta leave a comment, just, uh, I don't know, ask us a question, tell us how you're feeling, tell us how your day's been, tell us what you managed to pick up, and if you missed out on anything today, um, yeah, you just gotta interact in the comments, and then our uh, question man extraordinaire, Luke, We'll see that, and he will write your name on the little spinning wheel. Still not sure who he is. Uh, but Troy, Troy, sorry. Troy. Troy. Ah, right. um, and then when, <laughs> yeah, then at the end of the show, we'll spin the spinning wheel, and if you're lucky, you'll win the prizes. Yay! All simple. you need to do is interact. Yeah. Moral of the story. Uh, and, uh, well. But, but be nice. Like, be nice. Yeah. Be yeah. nice. We're, we're having a hard day, so. It's, it's been a long day. It's Shoot us with compliments. Long That'd be nice. Oh, who's the Andy? Who's the Andy guy? No, uh, does it even make a difference? Don't know, because he's been absent for a lot of his shows. Yeah, so. mentally and physically. Yeah. Uh, but we're going to dive into some products. We may as well start with the main event, which is the Emerald City Comic Con releases. So these released early this morning at 8am. You might have even seen Josh's uh, little promo video. Uh, it was pretty awesome. <laughs> I've seen that. Let's get them all out of the boxes right now. <laughs> No, it was the sparkles, mate. Yeah, yeah where's the bush? Where's the bush? Sparkles. sparkles. It was the impression that you were a wizard. That's what I got. Uh, yeah, it's but, all magic. Yeah, right. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, we had some awesome releases. It was a whole kind of weird array of different products, things we'd never seen before, uh, all kinds of different stuff. Uh, some products did sell out. So, off the top of my head, uh, the Billy and Tommy two pack, which we're giving away as a prize. You just need to comment below. Uh, Billy and Tommy sold out. Uh, I'm pretty sure nearly all of the vinyl sodas sold out as well. Um, Todd Ingram might be uh, still available. Uh, yes, the My Hero Academia one sold out. Um, so unfortunately, they're uh, no longer available. Uh, so, sorry guys, it's the nature of the conventions. Once they sell out, they sell out, they're gone. Um, but I'm going to show you them anyway. Josh, uh, what was your favourite one of this release? My favourite one, I've not seen the show, and it's going to be pretty difficult because it's at the bottom, so let's just uh, get I'm there. sure Blake could just... No, 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 no okay. Blake, don't, don't you throw yourself, okay? Okay. Um, the One Piece, Tony, Tony Chopper, the buff one. I don't know, I just thought this was super cool. It's a very unique mold. I've never seen it done before. I couldn't... So, like, there's no other molds like that. It was super heavy as well, which I like. I don't know. Do you guys like heavy pops? I feel like when a pop comes in and like there's a little bit of weight to it, it just it's quite exciting. Mm. It's quite cool. But um, Sandy, what was your favourite? Let me guess. Um, no, I'm gonna guess. It was. 
Dead man from Batman. Yeah, uh, you may know him as Man Dead. Uh, am I right? Wait, was it actually Dead? No, it was oh, uh, at the Alice in Wonderland 60th anniversary caterpillar. Uh, I thought that was really cool. Uh, that was my favourite. That was my pick. Uh, I think it's still available on the website. I'm really surprised. Uh, um, so check it out and grab it. Uh, but there are heaps of other ones, so we may as well just go through them all. Uh, Josh, anywhere you want to start? Uh, let's start at the side. Right. Um, we've got the Seattle Supersonics mascot, the Sasquatch. Probably won't go into too much detail about all of them. No. Um, there's the Garbage Pail Kids, Bony Tony. Actually, I like that one as well. I like that one quite a lot. There's a lot going on there. I really um, like the tiny little sticker on that one. It's yeah, uh, yeah. some of them had the smaller stickers, some of them had the bigger stickers, but less sticker, more pop. Am I right? Um, from <laughs> from the dog there. Well, I never thought of it that way. That's actually uh, a pretty good way. It's true. If you want to keep it in the yeah. box, then you can see more. Maybe, maybe that's why Tony Chopper was heavier, right? Because it had a bigger sticker. That could well yeah. contribute to yeah. it. From Underdog. Underdog. Uh, <laughs> and we've got these two Pokemon Diamond Glitter ones. So there was Charmander and was it is it Volpex? The Vaporeon? The, the the uh, that one's actually gone. That's uh that's that sold out as well. Vaporized. Is vaporized, gone. gone. Sure. Charmander's still there, get him before he extinguishes. <laughs> uh, we have from Star Wars. <laughs> <laughs> from Star Wars there is the uh, military green Yoda. Um, and we then have the Batman ones, those lesser known characters. I'm going out on a limb by saying they're lesser known because I have very little knowledge of Batman, but Sandy, I'm sure you can back me up. Do people know these characters? Well, I, I know them, Josh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, they're not very common, but Spectre, Deadman, not exclusively Batman heroes, uh, so a little bit inter interesting choice to have them on with Batman and uh, Pop, but uh, still nonetheless really cool to see those pops. Take it up with Funko, mate. Moving on, we've got Wonder Woman 1984. <laughs> there is Wonder Woman with the tiara boomerang. Uh, from Scott Pilgrim vs. The World, there is Kim Pine. Um, I bet you really like that film. Scott Pilgrim vs. The World. Yeah. Have you seen it? I've never seen it. Oh, so is it good? I've not seen it, mate. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Uh, <laughs> pretty cool pop, nonetheless. A uh, little bit of a the line, so interesting. The Water Vision 2 pack that you can go in the draw to win. Um, one of you is going to get a very close look at it because you'll be winning it. When you comment on the video and you go on the prize wheel, um, so, what, what are we giving away this week, Josh? We are giving away the WandaVision 2 pack. We are also giving away, this is one prize. Prize number two is the Masters of the Universe vinyl sodas. And prize number three, that's right, three prizes, make it three different people's weekends, is the Scott Pilgrim versus the, is it the world or the universe, the vinyl sodas for those, including this guy who sold out. So, super limited to 2,000 units. Um, continuing on with the pop vinyls. We have, I'm going to talk about well, Tony Tony well, Chopper well, well. because we already spoke about him. We have from My Hero Academia, uh, Nigeri Hardo. Um, I don't know if I'm saying that right, so if I'm saying it wrong, let me know in the comments. Let me give, us a, give us a phonetic pronunciation of it. Yeah. So that we can and that comment right. could get you onto the wheel, <laughs> so that's a double win. You can it's criticize win. Josh and tell him how to do his job as well as getting onto the prize wheel. Basically, you just be sandy for the moment. Yeah. Um, we have from Dragon Ball, Jackie Chan, which is cool because it's part of that like um, earlier Dragon Ball line with the uh, orange Goku or Nimbus. Um, it's super cool that they've kind of gone back to yeah. Dragon Ball. It's not a... Who's your favourite Dragon Ball character? Goku. Yeah. Mm. yeah. That seems like a really basic option. Okay. Um, I also like the guy that's the pig. The one that shapes you. He's, you obviously like him so much that you memorise his name. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I would have seen Dragon Ball, I've seen Dragon Ball Z, and they mainly just watch the fights. Oh, you um, mean Majin oh. Buu? You mean Majin Buu, don't you? No, he's the pink guy. Oh, right. From oh. Spider-Man 2099. This is Spider-Man 2099. Or oh, it's from The Amazing Spider-Man, sorry. Spider-Man 2099. Um, Deadpool. It's Deadpool with his little bunny pants on, so that's pretty interesting. It's pretty cool if you like that. Look how shredded he is in that. He's... Is that, is that someone you look up to? Yeah, a little bit, yeah. Oh, boy. Um, there is the Marvel Zombies, Zombie Morbius. Who is Morbius? Uh, it's basically just uh, a vampire, a living vampire. Jared Leto is playing him in the next film. Should come out in a couple of years. Okay. Right, <laughs> <laughs> the boys, from the boys, we've got the D, it's part of the boys line. Uh, we then have from Eastbound and Down, 
Kenny Powers. I actually reckon this one's pretty cool because it comes with this base that's got like, it's like the dirt from a baseball field, which is pretty unique. Haven't seen it done before. I also like this cool little pose. Is that his like sunburn, sunny smart? Yeah, he's, yeah, that's a nice little little touch as well. Looks like um, me after two minutes in the sun. <laughs> it does, it does, except he has facial hair and sanity just gets Oh, like, yeah, low, low. Wispy. Um, <laughs> <laughs> From the office is Dwight Schrute <coughs> as Kerrigan, which I'm pretty sure is a Halloween thing, right? So, uh, yeah, so Kerrigan's a Battlestar Galactic character. So, so mm. the more you know, Dwight Schrute. Um, then from V, I don't know about this movie, but I don't know. it came out in 1984 because there was a whole bunch of stuff in this convention that was related to the year 1984, like Wonder Woman 1984, the Transformers from 1984. It's a real... Uh, some subliminal, subliminal messages happening there. Uh, <laughs> Ooh, they're wrong. trying to convince us. They're trying to convince us that 1984 happened, Josh. Ooh, trying to convince us it was good. Yeah, from Thunder the Barbarian, we have uh, Ukla the Mock, Thunder, and Princess Ariel. Um, I think they, these are only available as the bundle, right? So you can buy all three. Sure. All right, we're gonna go with that. They're only available as the bundle. Um, we also have from Candyland, there's Plumpy um, as part of the Retro Toys line. Also part of the Retro Toys line, there is Grimlock from Transformers. So that's pretty exciting. Who's Grimlock? Because, I don't know, tell me in the comments who he is. So I don't want to hear your half he's the, answer. He's the dinosaur robot, uh, and he's mainly a dinosaur. But he's a Tyrannosaurus Rex, isn't he? Yeah, but for some reason they made him into the Transformer. So. Yeah, but like that's what he trained, that's the dinosaur. Yeah, so he's, ma <laughs> he's, he's mainly seen in the Tyrannosaurus Rex form. Why right. I fall for it? Another <laughs> retro toys line. Uh, we have Mantana as part of the Masters of the Universe. I didn't realise that the Masters of the Universe ones were a retro toys line. Did you know that, Sandy? I didn't realise that, I thought it was just based on the TV show. I didn't realise that was toys. Toy. They were toys first before the TV series. Uh, agree, disagree on that. Mm -hmm. um, from Beauty and the Beast, we have <laughs> Belle with her little green dress on there. Um, we also have, as part of another Disney thing, the Caterpillar, Sandy's favourite pop of the entire release. Yeah, that's um, cool. And then lastly, but absolutely. Why is that sick? Why is that your favourite? Sick, I love Alice in Wonderland. And the Caterpillar's never been done before. Uh, really awesome, one of those really awesome characters. He usually has a hookup. <laughs> disaster. <laughs> uh, <laughs> disaster. And by hooker, I mean the thing that you smoke. Uh, <laughs> Go on. <laughs> uh, but yeah, really awesome. Uh, and then the last uh, pop that you were going to show, Josh, before everything came tumbling down. Weedle <laughs> on the needle. It's the man himself, Weedle. <laughs> there he is. Awesome. Great. Something From a book. Wow. Tiny little. Tiny little sticker there, so, the, so I think you'd say that one's a little bit lighter when you It's a little, little bit lighter, not yeah. as much weight to it. It's still good, right. it's still good, but it's uh, more pop in that one. You see more of the pop, that's yep. the sticker. Alright, and then we've got next thing. Last of all, Josh, uh, are these uh, sweet vinyl sodas, which we're giving away again. All you need to do is tune in to the video, which you're currently doing and listening to me say, comment below, uh, and just interact with this. You might go onto the wheel, we'll spin it at the end of the show, so stay tuned. Two Master of the Universe, Vinyl Sodas, Matthew Patel, Todd Ingram, which are the ex-boyfriends uh, of Ramona Flowers. That Scott has to face off, if you're unfamiliar. And then the two Master of the Universe, Vinyl Sodas, uh, Man at Arms and Cobra Khan. Uh, really awesome, really limited. Uh, they always they have the chance of chases. It's pretty cool. They're extra, extra limited of that 7,500 or the varying... Uh, edition sizes, so really awesome, and uh, yeah, as we might have said, they did sell out, so unfortunately, they're going on. Uh, but that is Emerald City Comic Con, uh, those are the pop finals. Uh, some of the ones will still be available, or a large majority, uh, with the exception of uh, quite a few, but check them out. How's that a large majority if it's an exception of quite a few? <laughs> well, a few is three, and then so quite a few, might be two, few. Agree to disagree. Cool. Awesome. Second well, agree to disagree. Continuing on. Uh, similar, so going from <laughs> kind of vinyl bobbleheads, some of which are, to Hot Toys Cosbabies, which are also uh, bobbleheads. Uh, a couple of different licenses there. So it's from Spider-Man, Miles Morales, uh, the new or sequel to uh, Marvel's Spider-Man 2018. These are some of the different suits that you see within the video game uh, that Miles wears. We'll get some of these pots out of the way. 
But really cool, the Hot Toys called Baby's Line has been going for quite some time. Uh, and uh, they've really done a lot of awesome things with them. They're kind of just more stylized vinyl figures uh, compared to the pots, but they're really kind of nice and uh, they're cool. The packaging on them is really awesome. Uh, so, yeah, as, we, as I said, Spider Man Miles Morales, uh, different suits. So, this one, for example, is the Venom Blast. Uh, a lot of them have different kind of effects associated. So, a luminous reflection on this one. Uh, and then, what we have. Uh, uh, he is just a uh, classic uh, Miles Morales, but you have the ability to hang him upside down, so that's a really neat part of a lot of these cod babies. Um, you can't see from the back, that's why I'm having to look at them. Uh, just another classic Miles Morales, uh, but uh, again, he has the, a background and a magnetic feature. Uh, you also have... Oh, genuinely impossible. Uh, we have the camouflage version, so again, another special uh, feature attached to that one. Um, and finally, uh, just the winter version of Mask Morales. Uh, pretty cool, all around about $40, so $39.99, uh, and uh, yeah, all available on the website currently. Now, I said that the Cosbabies have been going for a little while. This is uh, their 800th uh, Cosbaby, uh, and of course, no. Whoa. Pretty, pretty exciting times for Toys Cold Babies. No Cold Babies. Uh, no other than uh, Marvel's Iron Man from Infinity War. Pretty cool holographic effect on Tony there, uh, and then also comes with a neat little backdrop. This one's a little bit more expensive at $59.99, but still no other way to celebrate the 800 uh, Cold Baby. A couple of Mandalorian ones, the child in uh, a satchel there, uh, and then in the... Uh, what are you going to call that? The cradle? Kind of the pod. Pod? <coughs> One play. Thanks, mate. Uh, and then uh, the Mandalorian and the Artillery Stormtrooper. Um, so a couple of different prices for those. Uh, the child uh, in the pod or the... What did you say? I said the pod. Pod? Yep. You said You Cram? said, you said, said the carrier bag. Don't let me know. Astro <laughs> Cram. Uh, and the Artillery Stormtrooper, $45. And then the other two, $39.99. Cyberpunk 2077 from Dark Horse Comics. Uh, these are the two PVC statues of uh, two additional characters. Uh, so previously we saw Johnny Silverhand as well as the V male, which is uh, the basic character that you start out with. Uh, this time we see Jackie Wells as well as the V female. So really awesome uh, PVC statues from Dark Horse Comics. They did an awesome job. Uh, I know that the game didn't really release all that strongly. But uh, still, the statues and PVC figures are really, really awesome. Unlike the game, these are actually finished. So <laughs> <laughs> that was a little uh, low jab there, mate. But uh, you can pick those ones up for eighty nine ninety nine each. Really good. Dark Horse are really nailing it out of the park with a lot of their statues and figures. Uh, you can check them out as well on the website. Continuing with kind of uh, more action figures. We have the Muppets, so this is the Best of Series 2. Uh, previously, we saw a release of uh, the other different uh, characters. One that even looked like Andy, uh, Sk Skeeter and Rolf. <laughs> Skeeter and Rolf, it looked a lot like Andy. Uh, but, uncanny. uncanny. Uh, but, Series 2, Best of Series 2, the Swedish Chef, uh, really, really awesome guy, there are 100 different pieces got the table, all the kitchen utensils, as well as the, uh, the chicken. Uh, really, really awesome. Uh, the Statler and Waldorf, uh, that you can see in their um, nice little ballet booth. Can we get an impression of the Swedish chef, Sandy? Oh, I'm, I'm no good. I feel like Josh might. Josh, I, Josh I, would I, I would love to, but I actually wouldn't know where to start because I don't know what he says. Just try it then. What does he say? Swedish stuff. Come to Ikea and get some meatballs. <laughs> <laughs> well, Close enough. I'm watching, I feel like I'm watching the Muppets right now. Uh, I can do an impression of Beto over here. Yeah, do it. I can do an impression of Andy. Whoa, guys, moving on! Crow, whoa, Sandy, talk about the crow, yeah! Is that Andy? Yeah, it's pretty uh, good. Yeah, that's what Andy does. He never sees me. That's me. Okay. 
Whoa, what's next, Sandy? Whoa! <laughs> to life's action figure from, again, uh, these Muppets as well, from Diamond Select Toys. Uh, the Crow uh, from the film, um, Eric Dragon's the character's name, who portrayed by Brandon Lee, who unfortunately died in the film, uh, but really, really mm -hmm. awesome. does come with a multitude of accessories, the grave as well as who knew and who thought it does come with a crow. Uh, but uh, yeah, really awesome. All of these Diamond Select action figures are $49.99 each, Really awesome price point, uh, and then uh, really awesome accessories that come with them as well. Uh, Transformers from Hasbro. So we love Transformers so much that I'm trying to sneak them onto the show every week. Uh, Transformers War for Cybertron. Uh, so the Netflix series that is on Netflix, the animated series. Uh, they've done action figures for releasing all these kinds of different uh, characters that transform. Who would have thought? Uh, so what are they transform into? Mainly cars. Uh, so you can so you, see. So you guys were lying before about the T-Rex thing. No, 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 no. 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 <laughs> transform into all kinds of different things. These two examples, cars. Uh, uh, look, there's a jeep on that one. No. Uh, and are they full size? Who knew? What, the tank, maybe. Uh, I don't know. Is this cannon? Yeah. Well, he does have a kind of cannon. <laughs> They're really cool, actually. They're. Um, they look like they're based on their Gen 1 designs. Yeah, so uh, if you haven't seen uh, the War for Cybertron series, it is kind of really reminiscent of that G1, um, obviously with modern day animation, but yep. a lot of the characters are faithfully represented as is they it, did. Is it a, like 3D rendered to look 2D situation? No. No? Full 3D? Yep. Yep. But uh, the character designs kind of follow yeah, cool. I'll uh, check it out. But yeah, really awesome. They're continuing to release uh, a lot of the different characters that appear in the show. You can grab it for $40 each. Josh, it's over there. This is exciting. Uh, from Bandai, we have Anime Heroes. Uh, we've got a Naruto Shibuden line, which is actually pretty sweet. I didn't see these until today when they were on the table 20 minutes ago. Um, and they actually got me pretty excited. I really like the look of these guys. Um, so there is. Uchiha Sasuke, uh, Oof. Taki Kakashi, <coughs> and uh, the man himself, Uzumaki Naruto. Uh, I obviously haven't seen Naruto, I just think that these are pretty sweet. I do like a lot of the things that Bandai kind of comes out with, and these anime heroes. It looks like a super sweet kind of like little action figure. You can pick up the set. Um, how much are they, Sandy? They're $40 each, so $40 for each. Price point as well. Uh, so Naruto, Kakashi, and Sasuke. Uh, awesome. Biggest. From NECA, we've got Victor Crowley from the movie Hatchet. I actually also really like this. I saw this last week as well. I just thought this was super sweet. Um, there's a lot of kind of like little things happening here. So he's got his, uh, his little hatchet, which I'm assuming is based on the title of the movie there, Hatchet, with his hatchet. Um, he also comes with a belt sander. And now I haven't seen this movie either, um, but he actually uses the belt sander. I don't know if you can see it there. There's a little bit of that blood. makes me want um, to watch. It. Yeah, that's what I mean. Like I saw that's the pretty inventive a belt sander. I saw the yeah, look, he's holding the belt sander there. Well, um, is, he, is he like a mutant or something? I don't know because I haven't seen the movie, but I'm super intrigued to watch it now. Apparently, it's I like have a, more questions about the movie, Josh. I have more questions about the movie as well. Sandy's like, oh, he's got it on the tip of his tongue. I think he's seen it. Nah. It's, I think, from what I've heard, it's an early 2000s kind of like, having to go with those like original Friday the 13th kind of movies. But that belt sander, man, that's, uh, yeah. that's interesting to me. It's, yeah, that's sick. Fully safe, safe. best. It's, uh, it's best. Uh, <coughs> awesome, that's all for action figures. That's really awesome, uh, awesome weird wacky uh, ceramic plates uh, from uh, Mushroom, I believe, is the company. Uh, mustard, I was really close. Uh, but uh, Wild Dining is a series of these. Uh, you can see some uh, pretty interesting animals. So mushroom wearing... is a fungi and mustard is a compliment. You weren't that close. <laughs> cool. Uh, but uh, really awesome kind of uh, animals dressed up in all kinds of different uh, forms. And you can also stylize uh, the plate, as you can see, demonstrate with all kinds of different foods. Oh, uh, cool. Andy Alpaca? I know who I'll be getting that for. Who? Eddie. Oh. <coughs> uh, but yeah, 
as you go uh, call on the cockatoo and the alpaca and then corny the cat really cool plates $25 each there are already some on the website different to these uh, but you can check them out uh, we're going to jump to the other side of the table we've got some brand new 2021 AFL footy select stars uh, you've got the album uh, the starter pack as well as individual booster packs Whoa. Josh I reckon this would be something you'd be totally into. I really into. do love trading cards and I also really love footy. So if anybody manages to pick up Paddy Dangerfield, I'll be interested in hearing about it because I really like Paddy Dangerfield. My wife went to school with him. What's that? My wife went to school with him. With Paddy Dangerfield? Mm. Like your wife instantly just became more cooler. And... <laughs> awesome. Uh, well, we have the uh, pretty young. $25. The starter pack, which is three boosters for $10. Uh, the individual boosters are $3 each. Otherwise, you can get a display of $36 for $100. Uh, so heaps of different ways to collect your favourite football stars. Uh, Blake is uh, bursting uh, behind the camera there. He uh, loves AFL. He's the best sport going around. I love it. Uh, I love it so uh, much. In the comments, let us know who you support. If you follow AFL, let us know what team you support because I'm a Cats fan. I love the cats, but Sandy, who do you support, Sandy? Uh, the Essen Bombers. Essen, then. What a strange. Yeah. Just yeah. doesn't make any sense to me. What, what, what do you mean? Just because he's not. Because he. Because Geelong. He's, he's, he's from Geelong. Yeah. So why does he support Essen? It's confusing to me. All the content here wants. Name uh, me three Essen players. That doesn't happen. <laughs> Uh, that didn't sound great. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> anyway, moving on. It's not an AFL talk show. Uh, we've got some quantum mechanics Q figs. Uh, really, really awesome again. A different style of designer toy. Uh, we've got the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Uh, all four of them. Josh, can you name them? Yep. Leonardo is the one with the blue band. Raphael is the one with the red band. Donatello, he's the smart one. He's the one with the purple band. And Michelangelo, he's wacky and kooky, that's why he's on a skateboard, he's on with the orange band. He is definitely my favourite. Michelangelo is definitely my favourite. Who would have thought? Uh, you can grab all four of them for $140 uh, as a set of four, otherwise they're $40 each. Really, really cool. Quantum Mechanics do awesome, kind of cutesy uh, representations of the characters, but also with really cool di diorama bases. Uh, different characters we've also got, also got, we've got Catwoman there with uh, all of her cats, kind of a, more of a classic uh, representation Is of her. Is that all of her cats? Because that looks like three of her cats. I think it's just three. Uh, but, oh, is that uh, all then? Yeah. I don't know, mate, they're probably not even hers. Uh, but $59.99 for that one, a little bit more expensive. Uh, Spider-Man there hanging from uh, a lamppost, taking photos. I don't know how that's fighting from, uh, but he's also thirty nine ninety nine. Spider Ham coming out of uh, a sweet little pie there. Look at look at that. Oh, it's pretty pretty tasty. Forty dollars as well. Why do you think he's coming out of the pie? Isn't he driving into it? Isn't he just smelling it? Because yeah, he's like a cartoon character. Yeah, sure. Has he been baked into a pie or is he smelling? Pie? He's coming out for the pie, maybe. Yeah, I don't know. Look, mate, why is everyone picking on the things that I'm saying? Because you say silly things. <laughs> yeah, well, when I'm the only person talking for the most of the show. Not true. Fine. Not true. Right. Next, we've got Squ Spider Gwen doing Spider whatever Gwen that stuff. is. You know what Spider Gwen does. Yeah, same. <laughs> Spider Gwen doing Spider Gwen stuff. I think it's meant to go this way. There's like a little bit of a. The webs there. I think she wrote mm. Gwen in the webs. I don't know. That could be libelous because I'm not sure that she did write Gwen in the webs. <laughs> in the webs, she's listening to her little iPod, which is a cool little nod there. Um, and she is purple or violet, which is also great. Very. Well, she's easy. not all purple. <laughs> I said she's also also violet. And look at the little music notes all around. That's cool as well. That's a cool little touch. Um, these cute things. They're actually pretty awesome. They're uh, at a great price point. They're super detailed. They're super cool. They're all available online. Before we move on, have you spoken about Cyclops? No. no. Why would you? Um, so we have... <laughs> <laughs> so from X-Men, we have Cyclops. Um, he's got this cool little laser beam thing coming out of his eyes. So I think it's cooling down and that's why it's kind of like simmering a little bit. Um, every time he does that though, fun fact, it actually hurts him. I mm. I don't know where you're getting that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yes, 
as Josh mentioned, uh, great price point. So for the majority, it's thirty nine ninety nine, with the exception of Cavalry and Spartan, fifty nine ninety nine. Not sure why those are a little bit more expensive, but they are. Uh, so really awesome. Check them out. There are heaps of other Q pigs, heaps on pre order as well. Uh, but nonetheless, who's your favourite turtle, Sam? Uh, mine's Leonardo. Of course it is, because he's serious all the time as well. Yeah, he's he just gets he just gets everything done. And then your Michelangelo's, like Josh, just sit around, do no, nothing, no, and no. don't help set up the show. And <laughs> <laughs> I didn't. Yeah, I didn't uh, help but set. But yes, anyway, Q Fix. Uh, we've got an awesome 1 6 scale action here from Blitzway. Uh, Jimi Hendrix, really awesome. Uh, and Blitzway knocked it out of the park with this one. Blitzway are knocking it out of the park recently. They've been producing some absolute. <laughs> Do you have anything original to say? <laughs> no, 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 just you, you made it quite exclusive. You were kind of like, it was almost exclusive that Jimi Hendrix had knocked it out of the park. And I agree, but I'm just saying recently they've been releasing some really fire stuff. There's been uh, the two pack from the Wild Stallions that we had on a while ago as well, right? Oh, yeah. That was another film we liked watching. Mm. Yeah? Yeah. Bill and Jeff? I don't think I've seen something come out from this way that hasn't been like amazing and one to one with. No. The marketing material and everything surrounding it, it looks exactly as it's been presented. And they get some, they get some of those like, kind of lesser licenses almost. Like they're, um, I wouldn't Jimmy say Hendrix lesser. is a lesser license. No, 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 I don't mean, you know what I mean, I don't mean lesser <laughs> like, it's just, it's how many 1-6 scale Jimmy Hendrix action figures are there? That's what I mean, like, they seem to get these like, kind of like niche, 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 niche is the word for, niche licenses. Um, Sandy, can you talk about Jimmy Hendrix, please? <laughs> uh, well, uh, Jimi Hendrix, really well known musician, of course, uh, really talented guitarist. Uh, look, he doesn't really need all that much spoken about him. I think uh, his career does all of that for himself. Uh, but the figure is really highly detailed, really awesome tailoring on the costumes. It's all uh, mixed media, uh, so really awesome. Yeah, they do an awesome job in terms of actually uh, sewing and doing all uh, all of the finer attention to detail. What I really like is it does come with a, a multitude of accessories. There is a, a cigarette that comes with this tiny little cigarette, which I don't have here because trust me, I'd lose it. But uh, he does come with a plectrum, uh, which is tiny. Uh, as you can see, it's gripped into his hand. Uh, all of the strings on the guitar are there. Uh, no, you cannot play the guitar. It's really awesome. Rooted hair as well. Yeah, that uh, hair is amazing. Yeah, it's really, really awesome. The face, uh, face sculpt on it's amazing. Uh, it is just yeah, a really awesome piece. Uh, and uh, yeah, you've got your mic. I assume this is a damaged guitar. I'm not sure what's what's going on. Smashed his guitar probably. Where's where's the rest of it, Josh? It's, it's probably in the crowd. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the guitar stand as well. Uh, yeah, really awesome. Uh, it's going to set you back $500, free shipping Australia-wide, uh, on orders over $100. Uh, that can be any combination of anything, uh, so long as it gets over that $100 threshold. But uh, really, really, really awesome figure by Bluesway. Uh, so check it out online, as well as all of the other Bluesway related products. From Iron Studios are all of these statues. Starting up at the top, we have the Iron Man Mark 85 from Avengers 4 Endgame. This is their quarter scale legacy uh, series. Uh, this is really, really awesome. So you might have seen, we did show off the Thanos as well as the Captain America. This is the third piece. There should be a uh, Thor coming out as well soon. Anyway, the Mark 85, uh, as it does appear in Avengers Endgame, Really, really cool. It does come with multiple swap outs, so you don't have to display uh, his unmasked portrait. He does come with the uh, the Iron Man full, full cow, uh, and then you don't have to display this kind of light uh, accessory. I'm not quite sure as to the specific name. All I know is it's kind of like a, a flash grenade and it stuns Thanos' eyes. Uh, is that blinds him? No. No, uh, no one in this room has seen Avengers Endgame, no. uh, but uh, that's pretty surprising. Cool thing about the statue is that it does light up. You will need a uh, adapter for it. It does come with a US cable, so we couldn't light it up today. But uh, yeah, you can have the option to display it like this. 
or not to, uh, but really awesome likeness to Robert Downey Jr. Uh, really awesome effects all around uh, the paint applications, the metallic looks uh, to Iron Man, really, really cool. The base is awesome, as you can see, the Avengers uh, headquarters, the iconic logo for the Avengers, uh, really awesome. It does pair really nicely with the Thanos and the Captain America. That one will set you back uh, quite a hefty amount of $2,000. Uh, again, free shipping Australia-wide. <coughs> again, from Iron Studios uh, and Endgame are the 110 scale statues. Uh, so a couple from Endgame. You've got Ebony Moore, uh, one of the Black Order members. Uh, really, really cool. Kind of uh, more of a diorama piece that goes with uh, the other two. And the whole Avengers Endgame line. Uh, Andy and I previously spoke how really, really awesome uh, the whole set would look. So if there are any people out there that are collecting the full range, it would be really, really cool to see a, uh, a snapshot or a photo of your collection. <coughs> we also have Proxima Midnight, another one of the Black Order members. Really cool, really menacing standing there, again on a similar base to Ebony Moore. Finally, from the Endgame lineup is the Iron Patriot suit uh, with Rocket Raccoon standing on uh, his machine gun on the back. Really awesome effects, blasting, uh, as well as the gunshot kind of effects. Really, really cool. Uh, and uh, yeah, they look awesome together, set up in a diorama. Uh, just some prices. So, Ebony Moore and Proxima of Midnight are $269.99 each. And then the Iron Patriot and Rocket is $330. So. Sandy, before we move on, Simon just asked a question in the comments. Yep. He said, if pop culture had a pop culture comic con, what guests would we want there? So like, if you could have any guest, I'm assuming that's where the question, that's what he meant, was if you could have anybody there, who would you have? Because I know you're into celebrities and stuff. So I think you probably have this thought out already. <laughs> um... Oh, out of anyone? Yeah, let's go anyone. Within, right. yeah. Uh, that could be a lie. Yeah, oh, well, probably Christian Bale. I think Christian, Christian Bale. Bale. Every single film we've been in, whether that's pop culture related or not, uh, really, really cool. Uh, and uh, really, really one of those uh, awesome top notch actors. Uh, but if we were to go uh, with uh, a pop culture related star, look, Chris Hemsworth or even Gal Gadot, uh, any of those superhero actors, I think you couldn't go wrong there. Yeah. I would, Josh. I would definitely have Stallone. <laughs> yeah, Sylvester Stallone would be the pick. I would love to have him. But I actually would really like to have Quentin Tarantino there. Because I feel like he doesn't do them. So if we had a pop yeah. culture at a Comic Con, we could get Quentin on board. Oh boy, <laughs> it'd be big. I'd get him to sign some stuff. Probably my t shirt. Oof. Just, a bit crazy. Yeah. <laughs> Just any t shirt. Yeah. Yeah, yeah ask him well. some stuff. That's pretty cool. Ask him. I reckon he'd be a pretty cool guy as well. I'd just ask him a couple yeah, of questions. Yeah, I'm sure he'd be complicated, just like his movies. Yeah, I would just say. Not you, much point. You, you know, after two hours of talking to him, you're like, what am I actually getting from that? Uh, good movies. <laughs> it was a lot of them have a good ending, a good start, and a good middle point. I don't, I don't even think you've seen his movies, mate. Yeah, I've seen them. I don't think you have. No. You're confused by them. No. They're not confusing. I just walk out being like, well, what's up? No, this, uh, once upon a time in Hollywood, I loved that movie. That was so good. And it was like three hours long as well. I'm really Seth surprised you sat through the duration of that. But it was so That's good. Three hours sitting down. Wow. Uh, well done, buddy. Uh, <laughs> moving on, a couple more Iron Studio statues. Uh, this time, DC Comics related. Martian Manhunter, one of the founding members of the Justice League. Uh, He's from Mars, uh, and uh, really <laughs> awesome. Has the kind of similar abilities to Superman, uh, but really awesome to see Iron Studios uh, creating a statue uh, of someone that I feel doesn't get a lot of representation uh, in, from any statue company. Uh, you can grab him for $279.99, really awesome diorama, uh, kind of what I assume is Brainiac's kind of uh, tendrils coming up through a Mars looking face. Uh, really, really cool. The final piece from Iron Studios is Mr. Freeze, uh, one of the iconic Batman villains. In a more of a modern day kind of uh, appearance. Uh, you can grab him for $259.99, $260. Really cool diorama, a little bit smaller, uh, but the effect on him, the clear ice, uh, the clear dome, uh, 
all of it really made it a standout piece for sure. That's all for my studios. Uh, we've got a little bit more to go, uh, so running pretty well for time. And then we'll get to the prizes, which uh, I think uh, we're getting all the names ready, uh, commenting, keep commenting, and uh, I'm sure you, there's still a chance to so, go onto the wheel. Do you want me to give you a bit of a clue about what we're moving on to next? When you're in your living room and you're watching a Quentin Tarantino movie and you hear like <laughs> some buzzing happening, what do you think that might be? Josh? Large fly. Large fly, Sandy? That was a stretch. Oh, <laughs> God <laughs> damn it. <laughs> oh, oh, when's Andy coming back? Yeah. Can I go uh, now, Sandy? What? Can I go now? Yes, yes. please. Can, can we just stop? Just cut, cut the check. Um, <laughs> we've got some awesome lounge fly products. All faux leather. Uh, amazing details. I was just speaking to Luke before the show at how how awesomely crafted uh, these um, all these kinds of different accessories are, uh, and just all the styles. Uh, really, really awesome, uh, and I'm sure they would make anyone's uh, back look awesome uh, <laughs> with the with the new backpack. Uh, you open up the wallet, and you're constantly like, "Oh man, awesome, cool." Uh, so from Emperor's New Groove, there's Yzma, more of a cosplay kind of uh, look to this one, really, really cool, uh, and uh, Emperor's New Groove, such a great film, uh, Yzma being the bad guy, of course, uh, $110 for the mini backpack and then $55 for the wallet, uh, pretty awesome, they all have kind of uh, awesome, uh, kind of different, but in a pattern, let's call that, uh, so the llama potion that turns Cusco into the llama. Who would what are they made it? out of, Sandy? They look soft and squishy. Ooh, soft and squishy. Yeah, sure. Uh, it's a faux leather, so not real leather, uh, hence the faux. Uh, really got some embroidered kind of uh, detail in them. Uh, and uh, yeah, really, really nice. Josh is holding a Bambi Thumper cosplay mini wallet uh, from Bambi. Mm -hmm. It's Thumper. It's That's because it's the rail right. on the back. It's got a tail on the back. That's yeah, pretty nice. Actually. Pretty nice. Movable yeah. ears as well. That's pretty pretty cool. Movable ears? Yep. Yeah. Oh, look, sad. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, he's happy. <laughs> <laughs> well, that seems like hours of entertainment <laughs> there. We also have from the Looney Tunes, we've got Daffy Duck. He's got that. Say it. What is it? You're despicable. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, you're, you're definitely a Daffy just... Duck. Got a um, nice little pattern in there with uh, Bugs Bunny and Daffy Duck. Blake, before the show, got them mixed up, which is pretty embarrassing for Blake. Interesting um, that you're saying I did. <laughs> hey. what's, what's up, Doc? What's uh, up, Doc? It actually says that on the back, actually. That's a good call. What's up, Doc? Backpack. That's pretty sweet as well. That's pretty cool. You like that, Sandy? Yeah, I do. Actually. Yeah, that's pretty sweet. Um, what else do we have? <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, a little good carrot on top. Is yeah, that, we'll see, that? again, these are the really awesome features with Loungefly. A lot of them come with uh, enamel charm zippers, uh, and it just adds an extra level of detail to them. So, Bugs Bunny's carrot uh, that he munches on, loves, loves a good carrot. Uh, got some awesome Minnie Mouse and Mickey collaborations. They do a lot of these stylized, just different themed uh, mm -hmm. items. So, this headband mm -hmm. looks awesome on Josh, looks awesome on you. Uh, and uh, kind of going for an ice cream sundae vibe there. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Minnie Mouse, uh, kind of sweet treats, mini backpack. Uh, man. Boy, does this make me hungry. It literally does though. Yeah. I literally want to eat it. Uh, <laughs> the kind of cone at the bottom, it's got like a nice little ice cream sundae at the top there. Um, mm -hmm. Sam, do you ever eat ice creams with a cone or do you eat them out of a bowl? Uh, look, I find that if you order them out of a cup or a bowl, yeah. That you can get more ice cream. That's true, and that's which, what you want. Which is yeah. what you're ordering ice cream for, right? But I'm not going to say no to an awesome homemade waffle cone. Uh, so, oh, homemade? Like, is it like a spearmint or something? No, it's bubblegum. Definitely bubblegum. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, definitely yeah, bubblegum. Yeah. Definitely bubblegum. Yeah. Spearmint, if you eat spearmint ice cream, you're a psychopath. <laughs> 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 Why? It's just like eating frozen toothpaste. <laughs> <laughs> you heard it here, folks. 
you like to be a bit, you're a psychopath. Uh, so that is an official diagnosis. Uh, no need to get your psychologist or psychiatrist. You've been diagnosed. <laughs> Uh, watch out, anyone that knows someone who likes spearmint ice cream, they like, they'll be Stay eating, away. they'll be eating that tub and then coming for you <laughs> in the night, uh, psychopath. Um, what's your pretty awesome ice cream uh, sandwich? That one's too much cream. Is that's it? Definitely nah, that's just, those are just sprinkles. No, definitely could be a cream. But a really awesome chain as well, if I can figure out how that works. Uh, awesome. Man, he looks... Fresh, what a fresh um, Strutting around, really awesome. As you can see, really creative. When you wear that ice cream bag, you look really cool. Yeah. <laughs> 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 oh, we're so close to finishing, uh, but uh, really awesome style uh, on that one. Uh, and then finally, in this frame uh, is a uh, nice little flat wallet. So again, continuing the uh, theme of the sprinkles uh, and all the sweet treats. Got a couple of uh, adjustable bag straps that so you just want to give a little bit of extra style to your existing bag. Doesn't really matter what it is. Belt as well. I don't think that's what it is. I'm no. Sure Look, that's like a belt. Mm. It's also like a mm. bag strap, uh, which is what it is. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, so yeah, uh, giving a little bit of added. Uh, Flair to your existing bag, or maybe you just wanted to do something else with, say, this ice cream uh, sundae or ice cream sandwich. You can just clip it right on Put there. Some stitch on there. Sandy, you did a really good stitch impression the other day. Oh. Could you please repeat it? Oh, hi, I'm your family. <laughs> 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 And like Owen Wilson. So you'd stick them up on the wall, stick them above your TV, watch Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, and Brad Pitt beats them up. Um, there's also... <laughs> this, this one's pretty cool as well, because it's got kind of... Um, that traditional art style is one of the holographics. And then there he is, there's Bruce, black and white Bruce, as the other one. Um, on the other side here, we have... Um, what is that? This is from... As the Dragon, because it's the only Bruce Lee movie that I know. Um, so, so I'm going to go with that. Bruce Lee, As the Dragon. Uh, this is another pretty... pretty well, I think set. you're right, he's got the slashes on it. Yeah, from the core. It, um, is it? almost certain is. Wait, no, I'm not certain it is. <laughs> No, take that back. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, it's, it's yeah, pretty yeah, iconic. I do like Bruce Lee a lot. I like watching his fight videos, watch him on YouTube. Uh, and then there is another one here that's also in black and white, and it is of him. Training in Enter the Dragon. So, <laughs> <laughs> all these yeah, well, pulled straight from Enter the Dragon because it's the only film that Josh knows. Uh, we've got a couple of other ones over here, another black and white uh, portrait kind of style. Uh, and then, oh, that one's cool. That's pretty cool. Nice, uh, really awesome different styles. Uh, it's interesting that DGK have uh, put uh, their logo on his belt. Nice added touch, but really cool uh, different skateboards. Uh, that yeah, you can either display or you can uh, skateboard. You can skate on them uh, and different prices. Your holographic ones are going to be $159.99. Most of the standard ones are $139.99. Uh, just for the deck, you can buy them complete with uh, trucks and wheels on them, ready to go. Uh, so 
well worth checking out. There are heaps of other different skateboard decks available on the website, so well worth checking those ones out. Uh, if I can figure out a way, oh, there we go. Uh, and the final thing, before we get to the prizes, before we say, see you later, boy. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, we'll get some vinyl records recently in stock. There were heaps, but here's just a couple. Uh, Ice T's uh, Rhythm Ryan Pays uh, pressed on a transparent yellow vinyl, pretty awesome. A couple of Nick Cave uh, vinyl records, Skeleton Tree, Skeleton Tree, Ghostine, uh, Idiot Prayer, that was uh, recorded last year uh, alone, just with a piano at Alexandria Palace. Really cool, interesting uh, vinyl. Uh, placebo, self-titled Placebo. Black Market Music, again Placebo. Uh, and uh, that's just a little snapshot of some of them that we've put onto the website. Well worth checking them out. Uh, we're getting an increasing amount uh, up onto the website. If you're out for more, our full range of vinyl records, you can check out our two physical store locations. One on Ryrie Street, uh, as well as our collector gallery out at the Federal Mills Park. Both in Geelong, well worth the trip now that restrictions are easing. One thing we haven't touched on is we're not wearing masks, so if we've been too loud, it's just because we haven't properly adjusted, uh, but our pronunciation is hopefully hopefully a little bit better this week, and not just... Uh, but... Uh, <laughs> We've got a couple of prizes to give away, uh, and uh, anything else you want to say before we get into it, no? No, let's no. do it. Great. Alrighty, so the first prize is Billy and Tommy from WandaVision. Uh, this one did sell out. Take it away, Luke. Nikolai Tylo. Well done. Uh, you have won this sold out two pack. Uh, the way you won it was commenting down below in the feed. I forgot to mention that before, but uh, that's that's how you get on the wheel. You comment, yeah. interact. That's how you get on. Anyway, uh, Nikolai, what I need you to do is uh, send us a Facebook private message with your contact name, uh, contact email address, as well as uh, where we're going to send it. Uh, those are the three main things that I need from you, uh, and. Uh, We'll try and get to that as soon as possible. Probably won't be until Tuesday because there is a long weekend here in Victoria. The second prize are the Master of the Universe vinyl sodas, uh, really limited. They are going to be the open ones that you see uh, before you, so what you see is what you get. Uh, awesome two pack again. Uh, so get these ones here. Man in arms and Kobe Khan. Four. Again, both sold out, so really awesome prize, second chance. Uh, spin it away, Luke. All right, let's do it. Who we got? Helly Millet, congratulations. Well done, Helly. Again, what I need from you, contact name, email address, where we're shooting it to. But well done and congratulations. Final prize to Scott Pilgrim, Thank final service. Todd Thank Ingram. You. Uh, Making the tail sold out, so a second second chance at that one. Matthew and Sam. All right, let's go. <laughs> Who's been... Who have we got? Who is the lucky winner? And we've got Braden w Brandon Wong. Yeah. Congratulations, Brandon. Send us a message. Send us your email address. Send us your physical address. We'll get these posted out to you. Well done. Awesome. Um, it's okay. That's we, that. we survived. That's a wrap. It's a wrap. We can review. We reviewed the week. Yeah. Poorly, without Andy. <laughs> uh, but we got there. Hey, hey Andy, I, I, I did it. I did it. That's what Rocky says, right? Says it, did it, Andy. Yeah. And do you know what Andy would say? <laughs> Whoa, well done, guys. Great show. <laughs> uh, but that's been us for this week. Hopefully next week it'll be a nice, punchier show. Uh, but This was punchy. Was it? Yeah, was punchy. It's all right. Punchy's <laughs> good. Yeah. Maybe, <laughs> maybe, 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 maybe you won't let us know. Please, it'll kick my weekend off to a good start. Uh, but uh, <laughs> we'll, uh, we'll get there. Anyway, this has been uh, another week in review. Luke has been our prize wheel extraordinaire. Uh, Josh has been my awesome co host and best friend. Uh, <laughs> Blake has been the cameraman and that beautiful laugh that you might have heard. Uh, serenading your yeah, eardrums serenading earlier. Your eardrums. <laughs> uh, rest in peace, anyone, full volume headphones. I'm Sandy, uh, just another person here. 
Uh, but uh, we'll see you next week, I'm sure. All right. See you next week, guys. Thanks, guys. Thanks for